Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Um, yeah, doing all of that. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message. All right, so um, we have the two of pentacles showing up for the beginning of the week. Then we have the eight of swords and then we have the two of cups. All right. Um, Aquarius, I don't feel like a lot of this is your energy. I mean, you know, with the two of pentacles, you could have a lot going on this week. You need to balance out a lot and you're finding balance. You're finding balance by staying busy, um, constant motion. Therefore you're, you're, getting into the rhythm, the groove of your life is this thing that you do or these two different things that you do. Maybe you, you work one job, then you go to the, to another one, or you, um, you get off work and you work on your business plan or you do something where you're just finding, um, you're finding contentment in prioritizing, uh, your, your daily duties. And it's not stressful. You may even be transferring money, balancing your books, making a budget, whatever it may be, you're okay with it. It's not, it's not um, driving you to drink. Okay. Um, could it be better? Yeah. But at the same time, you're finding, um, intuitive awareness also with, with staying constantly busy. It's like you, you're writing out your business plan while listening to, you know, some information about businesses in your, in your, uh, field. And, you know, it's, it's, it's like you're doing two things at one time that is, that's serving you well, you know, you're keeping up the juggling act. Okay. Um, <clears throat> in the midst of all of that, you have the eight of swords and I, I had to say it's, it's difficult to come from the two of pentacles to the eight of swords. So i kind of figured that it's not you Aquarius. Um, it could be someone else. I mean, it could be so many different interpreta interpretations of the King of, King of uh, Cups, King of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Um, I don't feel like this is your energy, Aquarius. This is somebody thinking about you. And I say that because we have this card, um, I Dream of You, okay? Um, this person may act as if they're not thinking of you, they don't care about you, but they are. Okay. And they may be in a tough or rough spot right now. Uh, they could be having a lot of issues going on with them. They could even have money issues here. Um, but they're definitely thinking about you over and over again. Um, they could be spying on you, masquerading as if they don't care. They're not looking at your social media. They're not asking about you, but they're doing just those things. Um, they're running away from one place to come over here and see what the Aquarius is doing, whatever that may be for you. Um, they have a lot of love for you, but their love is plural. Also, he's the King of Cups. He has lots of emotions to give. And he also has two scepters. So what you call them, um, two chalice. Um, one is bigger than the other. So he has a bigger love or a greater love for another person. But he definitely, his love is plural. You know, um, it's not necessarily singular. It's not just for you. Um, and maybe this is why you're staying away from this person because I don't see you two together or talking. The two of cups comes out. This person, again, Aquarius, you, you have found balance in your daily routine. Um, you may do some like commerce or e-commerce or hand to hand commerce, you know, someone buys something from you and, you know, they give you money, you give them a product or service. You know, there's an exchange happening here in terms of, um, income, how you earn your income. Okay. Also, there's somebody here who just wants you to forgive and forget, not just forgive, but definitely forget. They want to heal this severed tie between the two of you course let bygones be bygones and it's in the whole the whole spiel here they just want you back um 
offering nothing. They're also saying, wait for me. So it's like this person is doing something, is in something, is caught up in something, is stuck in something, could be in jail, could be in a commitment that they don't want to be in, could be suffocating in a job or some type of commit commitment where they, they can't get to you and they're asking you Aquarius to wait for them. Aquarius, what you are having is um, a lot of fortune with the Ten of Cups here. The stage is set, Aquarius, for you to just be abundant, have abundance, uh, new business opportunity, partnership, or, or, or um, yeah, business opportunity, even partnership would do well for you, would bode well for you, would turn out well. You would have some success here. Um, that's what we have. It seems as if you and this person is separated and the relationship kind of goes in and out here with the high priestess showing up. It seems as if this person knows that the decision for you two to come back together is all on you. You know, at this point, they just see you as unattainable, like a star, like they can't reach you, you know, um, very desirable, unattainable, but but desirable. Let's see what this person wants to to tell you. What do they want to say to you? Why, why are they showing up when your energy is, is kind of like solely focused on you, income, working, balancing out things? Um, it, you're not focused on a you know a loving a love relationship. Also, some connection. <clears throat> brings you to a place of um, mental instability. Excuse me. <coughs> this person doesn't want to. <coughs> they don't want you to know. Oh, this person, <clears throat> someone you're dealing with presently doesn't want you to find out about them. They don't want you to. You know, my right hand is itching. Yeah, they don't want you to know something. They don't want you to have the truth about something. Because um, <clears throat> there's also a person in your present here where you're just not sure about them. It's still up in the air in terms of what this person wants from you, what they have to offer, um, what they're asking of you. Their energy takes you to a place of unrest, um, confusion, the air of being good natured, like you're, you're a good person. You have a good heart. But this shit is going to lead you to a place of entrapment, closure, um, or being enclosed. Or their energy just takes you to mental instability. <clears throat> but, they're, but they're saying that they're here for love with the Two of Cups. But there's something about this. this if you have somebody new... It's still the jury is still out on them, especially with the two of pentacles. Things are still up in the air. This person could have two people that they're dealing with or they're trying to play on your good nature here. <clears throat> so much that they don't even want me to tell you. But we're going to go over to the extended <clears throat> and talk about what this person wants. What they want to say to you. The king of cups is coming up twice now in two different decks. Um, could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a male Libra. Um, <clears throat> we're going to see what this person wants to tell you. The King of Cups is also uh, concerned about business and business matters. So Aquarius, that could be uh, on your heart too. You know, you're just concerned about business, getting good news about business. And, and that only, you're not focused on love right now. Um, it can't be your focus. Um, I think you put a lot of focus into love and it didn't turn out well for some of you. So, um, let's see, let's just see what a new year now person, what they're all about. And then we're also going to see what it looks like. Maybe an energy that you are estranged from that you're not in communication with, or you're not in a relationship with this person anymore. We're going to see what they want also. So, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna pull one card. Let's see what the this um new person or this current person what 
How are they showing up in the Aquarius energy? What do they want from Aquarius? Very interesting, Aquarius. Um, <clears throat> very interesting about this new person uh, or this current person. In this energy where that Aquarius is estranged from, what does this person want with the Aquarius? What does this person want with the Aquarius? Ooh, wow. Okay. All right, so let's go over to the extended and let's talk about this. Um, this strange person wants the Queen of Cups and the Page of Wands. This current person wants the Ace of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Um, yeah, let's go and talk about this here. All right. Thank you, Aquarius. If you feel like you want to um, explore more about this past energy or this strange energy or... Um, a current person meet me in the extended the link is below thank you guys many blessings to you uh take care all links are below get your own personal reading at the website level you can also uh, donate by clicking the buy me a coffee all right bye aquarius